Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye for even more nice links and also my Patreon link in the bottom in the description if you're interested in that. Otherwise, just keep watching the video and we'll see what we'll get up to today. So what am I going to do? Am I even recording right now? Am I? Yes. All right, guys, we're good. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add a few printout methods in GUI because we're going to need a lot of different things in in our player, in our character. So I already added a few things just to give you, give us a head start. And I'm going to show you what I did. So all I did was I added two new functions. I added a public string to string banner here, this function, and I copied everything from my our regular two string that we already had copied everything into here which is which we're going to save or change later um, and then i i created a two string detailed which i also copied everything over from but the only thing i did was I actually removed the description part from all of these but we're going to be adding that back so you see there's no description part here so just to get started i did these so now we have three kind of two string functions to go in here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my GUI class here because I noticed one thing. I really want a progress bar for this EXP and I'm going to update that progress bar whenever we send an EXP uh, request to get the EXP. And it's a lot nicer if you want to have a progress bar there because it makes it easier to see. So I'm going to go ahead and add that above get input. I'm going to add a public string public static string progress bar i'm gonna do an int min i think int max and then int uh, width good 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 the width is for the max length of the progress bar no matter what's going to be this length Min and max is, of course, the minimum value and the maximum value that's allowed for HP. That would be your current HP and the maximum allowed HP. And then the width would be the length and the width of the uh, progress bar. And we're going to do, we're going to start off with a string here. String bar. Give it a little thing like that. And then return bar. Very good. A few steps we're going to do now to create the actual bar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say bar. First of all, I'm going to start it with one of these. Okay. Now I'm going to do a for loop, which goes through uh, the amount that we want here. So let's see. Let's see how we're going to do this uh, bar. Or here we're gonna start adding the calculations. So in the double double percent equals min divided by max. That's gonna give me a percentage that is left here. And now I'm gonna create an int value percent width equals uh, int first of all or convert to to n32 and we're going to put this calculation in there percent in there in there percent multiply by width so that's going to give me how many i want to int left over width equals width minus percent width okay and this is let's see let's do this completed uh, complete incomplete so that would be how many in the progress bar look like this and how many look like this all right Let's just call them incomplete complete. You can put any other name you want. Width minus complete. 
and this would give me the amount completed good okay so let's start off with the complete let's do a bar plus equals one of these for complete and then we're gonna copy all of this and we're gonna say bar plus equals this for incomplete and once that's done you're just gonna do a bar plus equals one of these and that will give you a nicely rendered progress bar hopefully hopefully we're gonna try this now so we have our progress bar let's do a 50% test so here I'm writing out the characters status I'm gonna go ahead and put in a progress bar here console.write line progress or GUI progress bar min max so let's say we have let's do our 30 50 split here and let's see if we can get this down good uh, and then width would be 10 run it see what's going on okay sorry that's only if we have an active character let's put it outside so we can see it all the time and this is in the main menu so okay so boom so I'm gonna say this starts at complete okay so of course I'm dumb and that's not it what two steps two problems here first of all this is a integer division so we need to do double here so that we actually get a double division as soon as you put one of these to double that will make this whole thing a double division and that will not remove that 0.6 that should be there if you're having 30, 50. So it won't remove the after whatever is after the decimal point. Otherwise, this even if this is a double, this will be counted as an integer division. So it just gets zero back all the time. So make sure to put one of these as double, cast it as double. Next thing is to everything else is cool here. The next thing is here, we're going from zero to complete. So that's fine. We'll be adding however many of these we need. But the next one, we're going from complete to incomplete here. I is less than incomplete. Incomplete is less than complete so this is four and this is six possibly and then it's not going to work so i want to put width here so i don't know why i did that but there you go now it should be a very nice nice progress bar here hopefully you can see that so you have 10 pieces and then you have your progress bar i can increase the amount of pieces that i want but for me that is fine right now now i'm going to remove this progress bar from here and I'm going to put it into my character for the time that we have left and keep working on this one right here. So my exp, exp min, I'm going to put a in the two string banner. Here's where I want it. Here I'm going to add the progress bar as well as all of this. So hold on. Uh, let me put it in one of these. And we're going to actually call this function in here. Hopefully we can do that. Otherwise, we have to call this outside. There we go. Plus, no, not progress, not console right line. Sorry about that. Probably want to remove that. So that's going to return a string for you. And then we'll have the progress bar. Let me just copy this. Now we're going to, in the banner, I'm not going to put any numbers. I'm just going to put the entire thing here so I just have to do plus GUI progress bar here we go I don't even need all of this like that good we have name how do we imagine this so we'd have name like that name and then the level would be in here this level like that a new line remove this possibly just put it like that or attribute points we don't need attribute points you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna put the progress bar here and that's gonna look real clean so if we go to our main menu and we do this, we go ahead and do this active character and then a new line, of course, 
to string banner and in our character again instead of 30 and all this we're gonna say this exp this dot exp max and we're gonna run this there we go so now we have my name we have the progress bar for the exp and possibly I'll put it up here you know what that might actually look pretty cool if I do that so let's just go ahead and do that before we end the game or end the video go back to your character take the whole progress bar put it in some of these squiggly lines and make a space there put it right in there right in there I'm gonna remove this whole thing put a semicolon right there I know you're gonna have a pretty nice looking progress bar whenever you run this I'm not gonna run it now again but it's gonna look pretty nice you're gonna have your level and then the exp as well as your name it'll be a long bar just on top um, <clears throat> of course you can add some more flair here you can add right before this you could do a boom good all right look at that look at that perfect now I'm gonna actually run this I really want to see how this looks okay cool all right that looks pretty nice look at that that level bar right after the level here that looks pretty sweet uh, but thanks so much for watching this video sorry if it was a little slow just changing this a little bit uh, sorry if it was a little slow you know I have to get back into this C sharp coding and uh, yeah I think it's been going well still but feel free feel free to join the live streams where I go through C sharp and all other kinds of coding usually I have them every other day check out keep a track on this this uh, discord to see whenever I'm going live hopefully I'll see you there also check out the description box drop a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one right bye bye